Eccomi. Aspettami. Piano, piano, segno. Con... Lasciami stare, Francesca. Ora vengo da te. Oh, mi adorata. Oh, tesoro, tesorino mio. Presto, presto. Francesca, 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 oh, oh, momento, fermo, con este pantalón, ora vengo da te, Mandatemi subito un dottore, per favore. Grazie, sì. Pronto, per favore. Uh, mia, dia, una numero, a Nice. Nietzsche, France. Nicky, mm. when are we going to get married? Hmm? I said, when are we going to get married? Oh, oh, oh uh, soon, soon, baby, soon. Well, how soon, Nicky? Well, it must be the phone. You're joking. Hello, Parker. <laughs> It's, uh, it's Parker. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Parker. Uh, well, uh, sir, it appears that events have moved a little more rapidly than we'd anticipated, sir. You're kidding. When? About ten minutes ago, to be precise, sir. Uh, look, there's a plane leaving from Nice at four o'clock. Shall I make reservations? Yes, by all means. I'll pack immediately. Oh, not again. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, uh, goodbye, Parker. Bon voyage, sir. Right. Pip, pip, old boy. <laughs> hmm. You know, it's a funny thing. What? Every time I mention marriage, the phone rings. Yeah, that is a funny thing, Captain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I swear to you, baby, this is it. I won't need that. Where are my shirts? If I can make this score, we'll have so much money, we won't be able to count it, we'll have to weigh it. Always running off someplace. Well, I've got to be working. By the way, have you seen my shirts? How else am I going to keep you accustomed to what you're not really accustomed to? Well, it's like living with a sailor. How would you like it? I don't know. I never live with a sailor. Wear my shirts. You made a lot of promises, Nick. I know, but these are sweaters. I want shirts. Shirts? Shirts, that's right. 
Nicky, mm. if you don't marry me before you go, I won't be here when you come back. Uh, these are nice, but these are not shirts. These are ties. Did you hear what I yes, said? Yes, I heard everything you said. Everything. Where are my shirts? Nicky, am I such a lousy proposition? Not at all. You're terrific and I'm nuts about you. But these are shorts. What I want are shirts. <laughs> You see the red light back there? Oh, when you've seen one red light, you've, you've seen, seen them all. You've seen them all, yeah. Porter! Nick! Yeah? Love you. I love you too, baby. Goodbye. Bagage, monsieur? Mm-hmm. For home? Mm-hmm. Goodbye. I'll be waiting for you. Take care. Look out for red light. <laughs> Bye. The fundamental requirements of a high-class con man are that he should be personable, well-dressed, amiable, well-mannered, good-looking, attractive to women, and utterly without conscience or scruple. I'm glad to say that I fill that bill to the letter. My name is Nick Johnson, Crombie, O'Hara, Stark, or when the occasion arises, Schwartz. I am by profession a lady killer. Women have played a big part in my life as far back as I can remember. Even back in the orphanage when I was a kid. I was what you might call a professional orphan. The business of selecting one's parents seemed to me a matter requiring considerable care. So I was prepared to take my time. The first of every month, the prospective parents would come and look us over. Most of them I wouldn't have trusted with a dog, let alone a delicate, sensitive child like me. Until one day, there she was. Lovely, lonely, and loaded. And you, Nick, back 
gemein. Here's a charming young man. Hello, son. Mm. Oh, Sam. Top. <laughs> well, and uh, what's your name, young man? Uh, Nicholas, ma'am. Nicholas? Yes, ma'am. That's a nice name. This is Mrs. Waldorf. Oh, I do, Mrs. Waldorf. And uh, how old are you, Nicholas? Yeah. Sixteen years old, ma'am. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. well. Boy, what a... Gladys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what's your name, young man? Johnny, ma'am. Johnny. And uh, how old are you, Johnny? I'm straight, dear. Fourteen years. He's Fourteen. I've been here since last June. Um, um, excuse me, ma'am. Why, what is it, young man? Uh, you dropped your purse. Well, now, there's an honest little fellow. <laughs> Here's Sonny. Here's a dollar for yourself. Oh, oh no, no, ma'am. No. Why, what is it, my boy? There's charity. All my life I've had to get charity. I'm just getting tired of getting charity. I've never had a place of my own. Nothing. It's always been charity just for a few minutes. Oh, you'll love the house, Nikki. It is a beautiful house. It's by the ocean, and there are boats. You like boats? I... And we have grass, and a dog, and oh, all sorts of things. And you must call me Aunt. Aunt Maria. Aunt Maria. <laughs> Miriam took me to a bosom like a long lost child. A kindly soul, she lived in a world of faded elegance and gentility. From a late husband, a naval officer, and a goodly man, she had inherited gentleness, sweetness, kindness, and a hundred thousand dollars, which was to make life appreciably more agreeable for the both of us. Surprise, my dear, on your first day here. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, let me in, Miriam. Aunt Miriam's great delight was to play the harp and sing. And for a few months at least, we shared a life of peaceful tranquility. And... Roadway for heart before you agonize them in farewell, before you agonize them in farewell. Hands I love beside the Shalimar. Where are you now? Where are you now? The Nightingale. In China, as you well know, the Emperor is Chinese, and all around him are Chinese also. Now, what I'm about to tell happened many years ago, but that very... <laughs> Merry Christmas, Nicholas. Thank you, Auntie. And a Happy New Year. Oh. Babe Ruth's my favorite.
It was the story of my life. That whenever I had it made, something would always go wrong. What are you looking at? Uh, a dredger. Dredger? Mm. What are they dredging for, Nicholas? They're dredging for mud. Good grief. What anyone would want with a boat full of mud, I can't imagine. Come along, Nicholas. Time for tea. There was something about that dredger that had me worried. Take thou this rose, this little tender rose. Oh, sorry. Likewise, I'm sure the sweetest flower in all God's garden fair. And now, who on earth can that be? I'll get it. If it's not an impertinence, ma'am, but was that your own charming voice I had the pleasure of hearing just now? Well, yes, it was. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, a nautical gentleman. How exciting. Captain Daniel O'Flannery, ma'am, master of the coastal dredger number 706 New York Harbor Board at your service. Look, do I have to stand there all day listening to you blathering? Shut your gob, you ain't gonna out. It is fresh water we're needing, ma'am, for washing and the like. There's a well around the back. A well? At the back? You heard the lady get going. I hope we didn't disturb you, ma'am. Gracious, no. Perhaps you'd care to step inside. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you kindly. Beautiful. We were just about to have some tea. Tea, is it? Well, now, that's something I've always been meaning to try. Lovely face you've got here, ma'am. Now we'll get a chance to look at some of those women and call them some sailors. Captain! Huh? Oh, Captain, this is my late husband. A handsome man. Oh, yes. Would you care to have some tea? I'd love a cup of tea, ma'am. Yes, over here. 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 The captain fired a broadside that hit Aunt Miriam square amidships. Days of tranquility had come to an end. That happy intimacy that existed between Aunt Miriam and myself was no more. Get out, you! I brought you something else, darling. I brought you something else. I knew then that if peace was going to reign once more, the good captain had to go. tradition of the sea, the gallant captain stayed with his ship to the bitter end. <laughs> but peace
police did not return to Andy's house. The distress signals were up and she was sinking fast. to me. with a beloved captain leaving me the house and fifty thousand dollars for which consideration I was forever in debt. What's the uh, what's the villa like? I think you'll be delighted, sir. Good. They certainly are a warm people. Welcome to Rome, sir. <laughs> Trust Madam's in the best of health, sir? Uh, bursting. Bursting with it. How exhausting for you. Yes, quite exhausting, I must say. Did you wire the bank? Yes, sir. I had 50,000 Swiss francs transferred to the local bank this morning, sir. 50,000? This looks like being a big operation. Well, what's that leave us with? $10.58. That's not enough for my good cigars. Not even the cheap ones, sir. <laughs> now then, here's your passport and driving license. You'll find all your life history typed out there, sir. Right. Nick Johnson, Philadelphia millionaire. Hotels, oil wells, and airlines. Yes, sir. Very good, Parker. What would I do without you? Oh, I tremble to think so. Yeah, so do I. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Glad you like it, sir. Mm -hmm. Now, where's this villa? Uh, the villa is yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Nice and close. Excellent, Parker. Excellent. I estimate the current value of the property around about uh, 8 million lira. Holdings in Persian oil, sir, $5,000. Government stocks, $750,000. That's free of tax, of course. Then there's marine holdings, half a million dollars. Real estate interest, $700,000. That's quite a pad. Yes, sir. Italian Baroque. Very nouveau riche. Mm -hmm. Now then, allowing for taxes, death duties, and other sundries, I'd say the late Count's estate was somewhere in the neighborhood of $10 million, sir. That's a nice neighborhood. <laughs> okay, so the Contessa gets all the money. Are there any relatives? There's only one close relative to her brother, Maximilian. He's not going to like it, but there's not much he can do about it. Well, we know what he can do about it. I don't think he's like that either, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, sir. Parker, if we can pull off this job, we'll be able to retire for life. Yes, indeed, sir. A penthouse in Manhattan. A little pub in Essex. Francesca de Rienzi, sir. Born Naples, 1933. Maiden name, Francesca Gattini. Relatives? Uh, no relatives. What's the background? Uh, working class, sir. Worked in a laundry, hotel maid. Matter of fact, that's where she first met the Count, sir. She took his breakfast up to bed one morning and stayed for lunch, as you might say. How long were they married? Hour and 40 minutes. When was the funeral? Day after tomorrow, sir. What took him so long? Well, it's this hot weather, sir. It doesn't do to have him lying around too long. Yeah. Very sad, isn't it, sir? Married at three, stone cold, dead by five. Hardly worthwhile him leaving the church when you come to think of it. What about the Contessa? Ah, yes, sir. Oh, she's rich, young and beautiful, and likes money. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Yes, sir. She also likes dancing, swimming and water skiing. Ah, the active type. 
Yes, sir. Drives fast cars. With hostilities toward the male sex. Oh, strong personalities. Uh, well, then we're going to have to be manly and virile and all that jazz. Yes, sir. Um, so she's got our private library consisting of books by Balsack, Cocteau and Frud. Frud? Yes, sir, Frud, sir. That's Freud. Freud, sir. Thanks, sir. Anything else? No, sir, that just about covers it, sir. That's it? That's it, sir. Oh, I see. What am I supposed to do? Knock on the door and say, I'm here to steal your money? Hardly. Oh, hardly. I mean, we have to have some approach. Yes, yes. So what do you suggest? Uh, what about the routine? I've always admired your house, and I'd like to do a painting of it. Oh, I know. I was born here, and I'd like to see my old nursery. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, wait a minute, sir. There is one angle that's got distinct possibilities. What is it? Whilst keeping a close observation on the premises, it came to my attention that there was going on what I can only describe as a little bit of hanky-panky. You're kidding? No, sir, really. As a matter of fact, sir, it's coming up to hanky-panky time now. The downstairs French windows, sir. Downstairs French <laughs> What is that? Oh, your foot, sir. So much for the Anki. Uh -huh. Now for the Panky. The inevitable lover, sir. Who is he? Romano, sir, a chauffeur. Touch of the lady Chatby, I fear. Situation has distinct possibilities, Parker. Romano? Si? Una telegrama. Per me? Si. Maledetta sfacciata. Si ammazza. Ma io non lo so. Sir, he went off a bit sharpish. What did you put in that telegram, anyway? Only that his wife in Milan was expecting a baby. Oh? He didn't seem very pleased about it. Well, I'm not surprised. He hasn't been in Milan in 12 months. Oh? Now, don't forget, sir. Once inside, it's left across the lounge, upstairs, and a first door on the left. Got it. Anything else, though, sir? That's it. Good luck, sir. No, no. Ah. Tesoro. Ah, Romano, ti ho aspettato tanto, sai? Sì. Bello il mio Romano. Oh, sì.
mamá, ¿no? Pronto. Sí, Milano. Grazie. Francesca, ciao, amore mio. Sono qui a Milano. Che parla? Sono romano. Sì, romano. Romano! Ma... Grazie a tutti. probably no more vulnerable animal than a woman whose curiosity has been aroused. Lesson one, from How to Catch Women Without Really Trying by Nick Johnson. It was curiosity that hooked my first wife, Gigi. <laughs> I first saw Gigi in the casino at Cannes. I was down on my last 50 francs, and as all the loot was at the casino, it seemed the obvious place to be. Not that I'm a gambler by nature. The last way to make money in a casino is to play the tables. As soon as I saw her, I knew she was for me. Ah, you were lucky, weren't you? Would you like a drink? What would you like? Martini. Martini, uh, Bartender, two martinis. What's your name? Gigi. My name's Nick. Why are we whispering? I have terrible arachitis. Oh, you probably got a chill from all the uh, ice. <laughs> Salute. Thank you. Cherie, tu viens jouer? Dans un moment. Alfa Romeo is parked outside. 
inside it's cold. Wait for me. Uh, maybe I want to tell you how I picked those numbers at the roulette table. No, on second thought I won't. Gigi and I were married in true Hungarian style. Her four ex-husbands said goodbye, as did her four children. Titeket, Eszterházi, Ilonka, Katarina, Mária és Nikolász, Miklós, Johnson összeházasítlak. A kést adjátok! Legyen ez a vérszerződés a pecsétje a hűségteknek és álhatatosságotoknak. Sok szerencsei! Good morning. Cream, sir? No, thank you. Uh... Oh, the name's Parker, sir. Parker, Parker huh? Yes. Nikki! Nikki, where are you? What Nikki, the hell is that? That's wonderful news That's to tell you. What? I what think we're back so to normal. Will you excuse me, Mother? Nikki, Nikki, darling. Oh, Nikki, I have such wonderful news. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that simply wonderful? Uh, well, what's wonderful? My voice. I woke up this morning and I can talk again. Oh, my darling, there are so many things I want to tell you. I love you. Mm. Mm. I adore you. <laughs> and I'm so hungry. Parker, Parker, please bring me some eggs, some toast, some coffee, and some Hungarian salami. Oh, I love you, my darling. And Parker, also bring me some black bread and some green pepper. Oh, my darling, you must be starving too, aren't you? <laughs> Parker, bring us some sausages, some cheese, and apples. Oh, no, Parker. On second thought, I changed our minds. Just bring us two grapefruits and some coffee. It's not healthy to eat so much, my darling. One has to be healthy. You know, my second husband, he used to practice yogi. He used to sit on the floor the whole day. This is like a woman. Get this down. Never speaking, just thinking. Mind you, every night I used to find out what he was thinking about. Darling, this is the most wonderful honeymoon I ever had. And what about you? Oh, you must listen to this. This is the most fantastic letter. I just got it from my girlfriend, Ingrid. Oh, she's charming. You'll adore her. We went to finishing school together. Of course, she finished much before I did. Imagine, she just married a third millionaire. And she's such a simple girl. But then my mother says, only the simple girls who really get their millionaires. Nikki, do you know what day it is today? It's our wedding anniversary. We are married a whole day. That's the trouble with your man. You never remember any anniversaries. Wasn't it a beautiful wedding? And you can't see that I talked you into it because I couldn't even talk. Darling, I don't know anything at all about you. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Have you ever been married? Oops, can't even tell it to me. I'm only going to be jealous. Parker, Parker, please bring me some other champagne. Nikki, oh, he went for a swim. What a wonderful idea. I'm coming, my darling. Nikki, wait for me. We're the simple girls who get their millionaires. And mother is always right. You'll adore her. She'll come. Nikki, Nikki, darling, wake up. Do you know what time it is in Rio? Mm. It's four o'clock in the morning. In Rio, nobody ever sleeps. They dance and sing the whole day in the night. They have so much fun, darling. Oh, Nikki. How can you sleep with that silly thing over your head? Darling, I have the world's greatest idea. Why don't you and I fly to Rio tomorrow morning? We'll have so much fun. I introduce you to the most wonderful people. seemed I had married some kind of a celebrity. It was something of a relief the day she was invited to Germany to open the new NATO rocket site. 
Guten Morgen. Wir haben nicht viel Zeit. Wir haben nicht viel Zeit. Wie viele Husbands haben Sie? Du meinst, apart von meinem eigenen? Captain Kennedy hat gar keinen Vergleich damit. You do speak German? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, as I was saying, why did you divorce your last husband? I think you need a surprise, Mrs. Fancy long. This giant is a 51 rocket engine uh, with a combined thrust of 14,000 pounds. This is amazing. I say, you're such a charming guy. Thank you. You're a very lucky man, Mr. Lamour. Thank you, Corporal. Mm -hmm. They get it. Oh, I'd like you to meet Herr Gunter, our chief technician. Oh, this is Well, you are right on the top, Mr. Lamour. Watch it. This is the nerve center, you might say. Begins out and big. Uh, it's the brain, as you might know. Step right in. Please ride in here. Yeah, you are telling me what happened to you. I'm sorry, Mr. Orr, but it's time to get one. We must take the people. Oh, oh, we, we've got to go to Mrs. Orr. We've got to hurry. She's in a hurry. Gigi, we have 20 seconds of warning light is going on. Gigi, not now, not now. Yeah, Gigi, Gigi, will you hurry up, please? Uh, come on, I'll, hurry. I'll get the elevator, all right? safely in orbit. It dawned on Park and me that we had stumbled onto a terrific little racket. Like all professionals, we took our vocation very seriously. No, nothing in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, sir. Um, hmm? How about her, sir? Oh, no, not at all. No? <laughs> Are you kidding? 
<laughs> That's terrible looking. Oh, 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 now, oh, what about her, sir? She's worth a couple of million. I like the mother better. <laughs> Here we go. What? what do you know about Fenton? Fenella Fenton. Oh, the Fentons are all oh, extremely high class English families. My second wife, the Honorable Lady Fenella Fenton, had more class than a Kentucky thoroughbred. Her father, the late Lord Fenton, died on a Monday, leaving his daughter everything. Hawk and I arrived in England on Tuesday. Good morning, Fenella. Good morning. Please. Say, Fenella. Oh, Fenella, you are brutish. I called you four times last week. Did you, darling? You know I'm potty about you. Are you, darling? Oh, lovely for you. Who's that young man over there? Super morning, what? Hello. What a divine young man. Some gate crasher, I should think. I think he's quite divine. <laughs> Absolute outsider. I didn't quite catch the name, Mr. Uh... Crombie. Nicholas Crombie, my lady. I like a man, Mr. Crombie, who goes after something and gets it. Thank you. And call me Fenella. Thank you. And call me Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back, I often wonder who got caught, me or the fox. Oh, Nicky, darling. Oh, Fenella. Oh, Fenella. Oh, Fenella, dear. Fenella. Oh, Fenella. It's... Six in the morning, my dear. Is it, yes? Yes, it really is. Six and... <laughs> yes, Henry. The horses have been saddled, my lady. Thank you, Henry. Come on, boy. Rise and shine. Fenella, do you have any idea what time it is? I always go for a can to this time of the morning. Works up an appetite. Oh. Oh. I was oh. going to Strawberry Fair. Oh. Rifle, rifle, told a riddle oh. I'd met a maiden selling her wares for to dee. Her eyes were blue and gold in her hair as she walked on to Strawberry Fair. Rifle, rifle, told a riddle I'd oh. Rifle, rifle, told a riddle dee. Rifle, rifle, told a riddle I'd oh. Rifle, rifle, told a riddle dee. Fenella. 
Vanilla! Vanilla! Come here. Come on, darling. What's the matter? Not tired, surely. Oh, no, no, Vanilla. Carry on. Uh, uh. That was fabulous, wasn't it? Fabulous. There's nothing like a good hard ride to get you in trim, eh, yeah, darling? Yes, yeah, quite true, my dear. Oh, look at Oh, oh Vanilla. Oh, Vanilla. You can't imagine how much I have. Uh, I, I can, for now. Yes, I can. Oh, that's breakfast, my dear. They're serving breakfast. Nicky, don't be so greedy. Ah! Oh, oh, Fenella. Oh, yeah. Thank you, but this hot grapefruit would be so marvellous. Besides, the butler kind of likes me, my dear. You know something, Parker? I can't take much more of this. I can't. Oh, I said good stop the Fenton up. You're about as good as you can get. <laughs> I'm not as young as I used to be. No desperate, I'm sure we'll come up with something. Well, I better come up with something, I'll tell you that. Want a bit more, darling? Mm, no, thank you. Thank you, no. I, Here we are, sir. I don't know. Drink this. Do you the power of goodness. What is it? An old English remedy, sir. Okay. Silver. Cheers. Come on, darling. Yes, coming, my darling. Mind up, sir. Again. Except you ought to sit up more. <laughs> I'd rather lie down, my dear. Later, darling. Later. <laughs> oh, by the way, darling, I signed those papers you gave me. Smashing. Were they important? No, legal documents. I leave all that sort of thing to you, Nicky, darling. I don't understand them at all, really. I'm just a... Free little woman. She's the Lone Ranger. Come on. Hey, darling, you seem very nervous. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, no. raise you back to the house, then. No, no, no. Let's go a bit further, shall we? Well, as long as you're not too tired. Oh, no, not too tired at all. Why don't we go over there? Say, I haven't seen that hedge before. No, neither have I. It uh, probably grew last night. It rained, you know. Oh, <laughs> darling, you are funny. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Last one over the hedge is a silly ass. A silly ass indeed. Woohoo! Tally-ho! Tally-ho! Sporkachola. Who's that? Maximilian, sir, the Count's brother.
Mary al teléfono. Pronto? Dammi un 5, 7, 4, 2. Sei grazie. No, thank you. More coffee, sir. Thank you, no. Then shall we have our liqueur in the other room? It's more comfortable. You know, Mr. Johnson, I have the feeling that we have met before somewhere. Oh? <laughs> that we have known each other intimately. I intimately? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, hardly, I mean. <laughs> uh, well, let's see, could it have been Samaritz? No. No summer. Not summer, no. huh? Well, how about the Bahamas last winter? No, yes. much more recently than that, Mr. Johnson. More recently than that. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Uh, well, let's see. I wonder where we could have uh, bumped into each other. I, I can't say I remember having had the pleasure. Oh, can't you? It's Hindu, the goddess of love. That's why she's smiling and has her eyes crossed. It's 13th century, you know, very rare, very Tell beautiful. me, Mr. Johnson, what were you doing at my husband's funeral this morning? Well, I was just passing by. I can't resist a good funeral. You speak very casually of death, Mr. Johnson. I approach death as I approach life with complete indifference. Oh, in Italy, death is a very serious business. Oh, for the living, perhaps, but for the dead, it can be an awful drag. You seem to forget that I am still in mourning for my husband. You should wear black more often. It's most becoming. You are extremely impertinent, Mr. Johnson. I was very fond of my husband. He was a nice, kind man. And I loved him. I loved him very much. Are you here in business, Mr. Johnson? No, not business. You see, uh, I'm retired. Really? Yes. I seem a little young to retire, but uh, I did because I have all these hotels. Hotels? Mm-hmm. And then there are the airlines. Oh, you want an airline? Yes, yeah, so I can fly down and see all my oil wells. Oil wells? Yeah, funny thing about oil wells. <laughs> Always pumping, pumping, pumping. <laughs> you are a very attractive man, Mr. Johnson. Oh, but then, of course, you know that. Is it any secret to you that you're very beautiful? You are also very vain, and by admitting it, you hope to charm me. <laughs> are you sure we haven't met before? Positive. Would you mind? Kissing me again. My pleasure. Hold this. I knew it. You, it was you. You thief, you interloper, you Francesca, cousin. Francesca, will you please listen to you me? You ought to be ashamed. I will. Taking advantage of a poor widow. Well, you're not too poor. Oh, you got a man with such a vanity but, but, could play such a dirty trick. But you have to listen to me. No. Francesca, just listen to me. The police. No. I will call the police. No, there's no reason to call the police. I have no reason. There's no reason. Yes, I have a reason to call the police. Will you please let me ask you a question? No. Will you, well, you haven't let me ask it yet. Whatever it is, the answer is no. But... Will you please listen to me? Let me tell you something. In Napoli, where I come from, such a thing would get you a knife, so... <laughs> now, Francesca, I want you to calm down and listen to me. No. You're the most fabulous-looking... 
Woman, Let me go. I've never seen him Let alive. me go. Please, will you just no. listen to me? Let me just explain no. something to you. No, Nikki, no. Please. Persevere with that wheat germ oil. All right. What do we do next? I tell you, we're going to cool it, take a trip someplace, yeah. and keep a guessing. Oh, you certainly know your wings. Uh, you're talking to an expert. I tell you, when I'm through with her, she won't know whether she's coming or going. As a matter of fact, so I think she's going. What? Look. Parker packed the bags. Yes, sir. Uh, south of France. South of France. Yes, yes. South of France, Parker. Yes, What's the matter with you? Across the Riviera. It's simple psychology. Really, sir? Yeah, bear with me. Yes. Look at it this way. Yes. You're a beautiful dame. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Now you've been engaged to this old bum for months. Right. Huh? You've been playing a respectable behavior. Right. Son. Then you marry him. Right. And bam! Yes, sir. He drops dead. He drops dead. Huh? Right. Now, this is just what you've been waiting for. Right. Got this beautiful house, right. beautiful car, right. all this money, right. all that loot. Right. What would you do? Buy a little puppy nest, sir. Oh, you. Costa Fonca Rome. Yes, sir. A tout à l'heure, chérie. Pardon. Hello, Francesca. Nikki, what are you doing here? I'm looking for you. Oh. Why'd you run out on me? What's the matter? Is it the first time a girl ever ran out on you? Well, as a matter of fact, it is. What did I do wrong, huh? Nothing. And what's all this about? What is it, Nick? Your pride? Maybe. Just because we spend the night together. Francesca, you're coming back with me. No. But you are. Nicky, please. Will you listen please. to me? Yeah. Francesca, que fais-tu en vacances? Francesca, what's going on? Nikki, please. I come down here and I catch you hanging around. It's none of your business. Well, of course it is. He's old enough to be your grandfather. Francesca, je viens tout de suite. Listen, Francesca, I've got to talk to you. No, Francesca, but je viens tout de suite. Garçon, garçon. I don't understand it. A man old enough to be a grandmother. Oh, will you please shut that thing off? I'm trying to get the cricket score from London. Well, then sir. just turn it down a little bit. Darling, 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 darling. darling. <laughs> Merci, monsieur. Uh, sir, sir. Yeah, sir. I don't wish to worry you unduly, sir, right. but we're on the verge of bankruptcy. Oh, I see. In short, sir, the time has come for positive action. Right. Positive action, sir. Positive action. Positive. I agree with you. Yeah. Then what do you think we should do? I haven't the faintest idea, sir. Uh, tell you. Tell me what she sees in him. I can't imagine. 
emergency. I can't either. There was only something I could do. Sir, sir, oh. I don't wish to be personal, but has it never occurred to you to tell the young lady that you love her? I didn't hear you. It's not difficult, sir. I love you. I love you. And I want to marry you. Are you crazy? That's against my principles. Ten million dollars. I'll do it. Ten million dollars. Right. Francesca, uh, uh, excuse me, will you? Uh, I, I love you and I want to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> she, she laughed. I love you and I want to marry you. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Francesca, are you going to marry me, yes or no? Oh, darling, you are so romantic. Oh, voyons, monsieur, voyons. Oh, voyons, and drop dead, Qu'est-ce qu'il a dit? Oh, he told you to drop dead. Drop dead, yes, yes, yes. You still have an answer to my question. Oh, you want an answer? Yes, I do. I tell you, I won't marry you if you are the last man on earth. Where is the American embassy? The wheel has come off my car. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, look, I'm not going to take no for an answer. Such conceit. You are a scoundrel and a cat. Sir, will you beat it? Now, look, I want to marry you. No. Will you listen to me? No, you listen to me. I don't need you. I am free. I have money. I can do what I like. Go where I like. With whom I like. Could you kindly direct me to the toilet? Yes, I <laughs> That's right. Push it out. Push it out. Push it out. Francesca. Agitorium nostrum in nomine domine equifacio celum et terram. Domine. Domine salio ratione mea me crema me sacce veniat. Dominus et cum spiritu tuo. Avec cet anneau, avec cet anneau, je vous épouse. Je vous épouse. Ego coniugo vos in matrimonium. You may now kiss the bride. In nomine, in nomine patris et fili et spiritus sanct. Amen.
You've just wet yourself, Parker. Understandably, madam. All right, where is he? Um, I think he went for a swim. No, I wouldn't if I was you, madam. Madam, madam! Now, baby, don't jump to conclusions. Let me explain. All right, explain. So, you see, baby, the poor girl hasn't got long to live at all. And there's no hope? No hope. Nothing. Terrible. Isn't it terrible, a young, beautiful girl like that? How long? Uh, it can happen any second, any minute, any hour, any oh, day. Sooner than that, sir. Yes, yeah, sooner than... But isn't there a doctor or a specialist? Oh, or... we've checked with every doctor on the continent. You see, it's these heart conditions. Yes, Adam. these heart conditions. Park, it's terrible. Mm. You know, Nicky, mm. you're one of the kindest persons. Oh. Well, to give somebody like that oh. a little happiness for a few days. Uh. Well, I think it's wonderful. It's the least I can do. You're not in love with her, are you? Why, oh, you cute little monkey. Love. <laughs> Bugger. <laughs> no, my love. It's... It's more pity than love. Pity, sir. Pity? Yes, pity. Isn't it terrible? How horrible life can be at times. All the money in the world, and she's got nothing. Money? The yes. Countess happens to be one of the wealthiest women in Italy, madam. I always knew there was something evil about you, Nicky. Thank you. Maybe that's why I'm crazy about you. But you'd better be telling baby the truth, darling. <laughs> of course I am. Don't be silly. Want some sugar? Bye, Bye baby. Well, sir, I reckon the sooner the better. to the south of France. I was running away, Nikki. I was running away because I was falling in love with you and I... Haven't you ever been afraid of love, Nikki? Nikki, what's the matter? Oh, nothing, nothing. I, uh, just enjoying the evening. Come on, <laughs> it's getting chilly. Did they keep you waiting? No, no, no. Come on, we better go. Come on. Hey! Come on, let's go. Hey, we don't have much time. But what's a hurry? <laughs> You'll see. Come on. Come on, my love. We're going to delay. Come on. Don't worry. We just hey, have to hurry. Just wait a second. Are you going to my shoe? Well, well uh, can't you do that? <laughs> Later, we're, we're going to be late. Come on. Here we are. Here we are. Now, you stand right there. Don't hey, move. look. Isn't it beautiful up here? Uh, it's yes. So high. It's uh, very beautiful. Darling, I'm so happy. I'm so happy too. Now, you just stand right here. Don't move. Yeah, that's it. Now, hold still. Hello? Hello? Hey, look, darling. It's going to strike. <laughs> yeah, it's going to strike. That's right. It's going to strike. <laughs> don't move. That's it. Shoulders back. Yeah, but just uh, don't move. Hold it. That's it. That's very nice. Now, uh, back up a little bit. That's it. Yes, that's it. Oh, terrific. Yes. Now, hold it. No, no, don't move. No, that's right. You get it? No, I didn't get it. Hey, look. 
Look, isn't that marvellous? It's cute, eh? Yeah, it's very nice. Lovely, wonderful. Goodbye! <laughs> hey, Nicky! Nicky, look out! Look out! Nicky! Nicky! Nicky, tesoro! Nicky, eh? Eh? Oh, Signora, so much tragedy in your young life. Is to lose here. Ah, there. I remember when your first husband died. Oh, that's better. Oh, such a terrible business. And a year later, your second husband. Nobody so beautiful should have such bad luck. It's too long, don't you think so? But to lose a third husband in so short a time. Mamma mia, such misfortune. Tell me, signora, when did this terrible thing happen? I thought next Sunday would be as good day as any. Right ideas. Don't worry, sir. I've got even a better one. Parker, do me a favor. Leave it to me, sir, please. Right, I'll come up Parker. with something, sir. Don't worry. Oh. Nicky. Oh, my poor Nicky. You look so pale. I feel pale. Oh, one, I think you might have been killed. Yes. Oh, more poverino. Yes, sir, yes, sir, sir. Now, mm. what you would like to eat? Well. I go down and cook your lunch myself. Good. Yeah. I don't think so. But uh, please, can we lift you to somewhere? Well, uh, I want to get to the Villa Rienzi. Rienzi? Coincidence. We are to go to there. Please, to mount. Oh, please. Uh, please. <laughs> Massimo Grazzini. But uh, my friend called me Max, huh? Max. Huh? May I to present Monsignore Piscali? <gasps> Then it's happened. She's gone. Gone? Who is gone? The Contessa. And I didn't bring my black dress. Damn it. Oh, excuse me. Prego. Please, I not understand. The Contessa. You're going to the funeral, aren't you? La Contessa è morta? Eh, non lo so. No. No, I think you make a mistake. The Contessa is not dead. Oh. Well, that's just as well. The black dress doesn't fit anyway. Mm. Poor woman. Fancy any minute she might go just like that. It's terrible. Yes. Please, what are you talking about? The Contessa. She has a serious heart condition, you know. Heart condition? Huh? Bad heart. Ba bad heart? The Contessa? No. Liz, I tell you something. The Contessa, she got a heart like a rock. She got to live to 129. No, I'm sorry. Somebody has pulled your legs, huh? Somebody has pulled her legs. <laughs> yeah. Buongiorno, signore. Come va? Oh, va bene, bene, grazie. Se no, 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 ecco. Oh. No, 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 ecco over the bed. Ecco, oh. sì. Sì. Attenzione. Oh! Oh, 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 oh signore! Oh, 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 buon appetito, eh, signore! Grazie, grazie. Ah, snake! A snake? Wait till I see him. I'll break Parker! 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 
Lay out your coat of dark as black. The dirty deed will soon be done. She'll give the ball a mighty whack. A blow us off to kingdom come. Good heavens, what's occurred? You silly idiot. You imbecile. Stay down, sir. I ought to tear off your head and stuff it down your throat. What are you talking about? Snakes in a bed. Snakes in a bed? Yeah, John on my head. John who? Sawing the balcony. Sawing the balcony? I ought to kill you. Kill me? Yeah. What the... What's the matter with you anyway? Whose side are you on? I just don't know what you're talking about. Somebody's trying to kill me. Onto us, you know. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do? Have no fear, sir. Parker's here. Five years in army ordnance wasn't wasted. Look at that. What do you make of that? Oh, what? Red. That's a red ball. It's a red ball. That's mm -hmm. very good. I'm watching very carefully, I hope. Right. Simple, sir, but horribly diabolical. Well, what's it for? It's an old English pastime, sir. What? Croquet. Now, the game of croquet dates back to the 13th century. It comes from an old French word meaning croc or crook. Yes, sir. Uh, perhaps you'd allow me to demonstrate, madam. Place the ball there. Yes, but don't hit it yet. No. Now, uh, I wonder if you take your stance, uh, if you'll forgive the familiarity. <laughs> now, uh, you keep your eye on the ball and your eye on the hoop. Slowly draw the mallet back, but don't hit it yet. <laughs> and uh, strike, but don't hit it yet. <laughs> Hello, Nikki. What are you up to? No, what are you up to? Uh, <clears throat> I'd like you to uh, meet my wife, Francesca. This is my cousin. Cousins. Yes. Oh, you can call me baby. Mm -hmm. Everyone does. Yes, let me show you the place, hey. baby. Ah, my dear Francesca. May I to present Monsignori Piscali from the Monsignori. Vatican? And, uh, my husband. How do you do? Aha, polio. Like the Prince of Edinburgh is playing. <laughs> oh, Francesca, may I have a word of private, please? Get the red ball, yes, baby. Sir. Come on. Roquette. Molto amusante. May I join you? This is so sad. Such a big place. And you all alone. What a pity there is no children to share all this with you. There is no chance, maybe, of uh, a little one. No chance at all. Parker? Uh, yes, madam. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything, madam. <laughs> you know something? The Contessa doesn't look to me like she's about to drop dead any minute. Well, uh, looks can be deceiving, yes, Unless they Unless you were planning to give her a push. What do you mean by that? You really shouldn't uh, keep a scrapbook, Nicky. It's very incriminating. Excuse me, madam, you've got the wrong ball. What do you call this game? Cricket? No, madam. Croquet. <laughs> Grazie. Get the red ball. Yes. <laughs> this is my ball. Your dear brother died before he even got into bed. Ah. Ha! Bye. Not consummate. <laughs> Not consummate, Monsignore. <laughs> Monsignore, Monsignore, would you be so good as to explain? Is, ah, yes. Is, oh, alas, Signore, it is a most unfortunate affair. Not consummate. Huh? If, in fact, the marriage was not consummated, as you say, then uh, in both the eyes of the law and uh, ethically, the marriage is null and void. Val and annoyed. That is monstrous. I shall take it to a higher court. A higher court? Ridiculous, dear lady. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want you and him and everybody out my villa in a 24 hours. Max, my husband has more money than your miserable brother ever had. So take your villa and your money, eh? I won't say anything as long as you take care of the contest. <laughs> What are you doing, Nicky? And if you don't do something about it, Nicky, I'm going to the police. Perhaps 
I didn't prime the detonator correctly, sir. Perhaps I didn't prime the detonator. I'll prime your detonator. Sounds like we're in for a storm. Dinner at the usual time, madam. Yes, please, Parker. Very good, madam. I um, love big houses, don't you? They're so big. Yes, well, I don't see no reasons why you shouldn't live in such a villa, my dear. Oh, I intend to very soon. Don't I, Nicky? If you will excuse me, I have a headache. I will see you later, Nicky. Yes, well, it's one or two things I got to look at, if you'll excuse me. I was watching you just now, Nicky, looking at her. You wouldn't be thinking of changing your mind, would you? It's you or her, sir, honestly. He's right, you know. Hi. Oh, hello. Boy, this place is full of junk, isn't it? Junk? <laughs> Come, I'll show you. You see all these uh, etchings? Well, they alone are worth 80 million lire. Huh? Well, that's what is this? Uh, 13,333 dollars. No kidding. Sure. What are you writing? Oh, I'll make an inventory. It's the new owner of the Villa Rienzi. I have to check the contents. As the new what? Well, yes, you didn't know. It's a slight legal misunderstanding. It's all settled. I am now the Conte di Rienzi. <laughs> this house, <laughs> all this junk, it all belong to me. <laughs> you know something? No. You have very beautiful eyes. You think so? Here we are, sir. Mm. Here's the stuff. Right. Are you kidding? That's like modeling clay. Maybe, sir. But once it gets off, it's crash, bang, wallop, and shake hands with your Uncle Charlie. <laughs> Highly volatile stuff, sir. Stuck on the engine of her car. After a couple of miles, there'll be nothing but her hubcaps left. See what I mean? Uh, well, Slip that in your pocket. Uh, well, don't worry, sir. Only don't stand too near a radiator or anything like that. Or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Will you want me any more, sir? Shh. Will you want me any more, sir? Good night, sir. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, how's your headache? Uh, still very bad. Oh, good. Come on, I'll fix that. <laughs> yes. You do that so well. You should take care of yourself. And you, my darling, you should look after yourself, too. You've got very beautiful hair. When I was a little girl, it was very long. You must have been very beautiful as a little girl. And you, Nick, you never grew up, did you? It makes two of us, doesn't it? Nick, I've been very happy with you. Very happy. One or two eggs, madam? One, please. Miss Cousin, senor. One or two eggs, madame. Excuse me. <laughs> Little bit more. Huh? Protein, very important. Little bit vitamin, huh? Pretty girl like you. Please. Thank you. Sit down. Huh? And eat. Hmm? <clears throat> Morning, Nicky. Morning. Morning, sir. Eggs fried or scrambled? Yes, please. Yes. Max is going to take me shopping in Rome today. Aren't you, Max? Whatever you say, princess. You don't mind, do you? No, 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 no. You know something? Amy is just crazy nuts about her cousin. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I call for please. Good morning, darling. Good morning. Nikki? Mm -hmm. I was wondering, what did you have favor for me? Of course. Uh, my watch he needs repairing. I wonder if you would be kind enough to take it in for me. Sure. I don't really have the time, you know. I have an appointment with a hairdresser at 10. Of course. Thank you. I already have to go now. Excuse me. More coffee. Thank you. Well, Nikki. Goodbye. Goodbye. The watch. Here. Patroni in the village. You cannot miss it. Goodbye. Goodbye, Nikki.
don't ask questions. What's happened? Just never mind. Get down. No, Nikki. No, darling, get down. I couldn't do it. I am sorry, darling. I couldn't do it either. Oh, darling, I love you so oh, much. I you must have been crazy to do such a thing for money. Darling, will you ever forgive me? You crazy kid? I haven't got any money. You don't have any money? No, we don't. I haven't got a penny. Isn't that funny? I haven't got a sou. I've got nothing. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I don't have any money either, you know? You don't have any money? <laughs> Well, what about the villa and your husband and all of these it things? It was all a mistake, a mistake, my beloved, yes. No money. <laughs> Not a nickel, my love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we have each other, you know. Yes, we have each other. Ah, love is better than all the money in the world. In the whole world. <laughs> you when I had the chance, but no, I'm stupid. You know what I do? I have to marry you in a country where there's no divorce. Don't touch me! Right, we've got to do business! You know something? See this? To the moon! Wow! Shut up! Dinner is served, sir. Oh, surprise! Look what we got for dinner tonight. Spaghetti! Now, what's the matter with spaghetti? Yeah? It stinks! That's what's the matter with spaghetti! 